I would look at last year as one of our best seasons. You know, I think as you look at the transition in rules, going to the Mustang, um, and then just starting not anywhere close to where we wanted to be at the beginning of the season as a company, we gave ourselves a chance in the end to compete for another championship in what looked like it was going to be, you know, a tough year. The needle's always moving. It's you can sit there and take everything you learned from last year and try to analyze it and try to figure out how you can manipulate it and change it and make it different for the upcoming year. But you know, you hope when you get to the racetrack in February and start at Daytona and then get to what we call regular racetracks after the 500, you kind of find out where you shake out and where your program's at. I think we have a much better understanding of our aero maps and, and the things that you know we're putting into our sim programs and things like that as to where uh, the aero balances and all the things that go with that. So, you know, I think we learned a lot and I think we'll be in a much better position to compete for wins, um, you know, at the beginning of the year. 2020 sees a crew chief swap for two of SHR's drivers. Clint Boyer is now team with Johnny Klausmeyer, while Arik Almarola is working with Mike Bugaravich. Working with Mike Bugaravich has been really, really refreshing um, to start the year off here. He's, uh, he's highly motivated and he's just a great competitor. I've worked next to him in the garage here at Stuart Haas Racing and at the racetrack and I've seen his level of intensity and how well he prepares his race cars and, and the way his guys on his team respect him. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to being a part of that team and working with that group of guys. They've had a lot of success and they know how to win races and, and contend for a championship. The good news is, is the only thing that changed was the driver and his seat and steering wheel pretty much and some stickers on the car. So outside of that, everybody's intact on the team. All the players are the same in that regard. We already have that relationship established. It was just getting to know Eric and he's a real easy guy to get along with. And then on top of it, Johnny and I have a great relationship. We do a lot of things outside of working together. So it's easy for me to go talk to Johnny, Johnny to come talk to me, vice versa, and getting you know, the further details that we need to help each other out. We know each other's drivers just from debriefs and everything. And we have several years and notes of Clint's tendencies of what he wants to put in the car and just coming into a situation where you don't have to start uh, cold turkey because I can go to Mike and ask him his advice or you know how he's handled things in the past and I think it's going to help us both get up to speed quicker. Another change in 2020 is the departure of Mexican Daniel Suarez, allowing for the promotion of their young Xfinity driver Cole Custer to cup competition. We had an unbelievable year last year in the Xfinity series. I mean it was you know, I mean, have six wins, I think, and just everything that went with it is just kind of a dream season that you can't take for granted at all. And moving up this year, you know, you kind of got to reset a little bit. You know, you're in a different kind of field now. You know, guys that have 20 years of experience and you're the rookie again. So it's kind of trying to figure out everything and see what you can do. One of the things that I really see Cole is capable of doing is understanding what he needs to do to his race car to get a good finish at the end. You know, not getting too excited about a bad pit stop, knowing, okay, if I keep working, my crew's going to do good the next stop, and then give me those positions back. The race is not over until the checkered flag falls. You just keep moving forward and trying to get the best finish you can each and every week. For SHR's charismatic number 14 driver, Clint Boyer, advice for his new teammate, Custer, is a given. But a championship is what the Kansas kid is really looking for this year. People asked about Cole and what advice or whatever to, to tell him. And answering those questions reminded me of when I was a rookie. You know, you roll into that deal, winning races and dominating, and man, it was effortless. That don't happen at this level. It is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and it's even more hard to do on a consistent basis. You set out the year to win your first race together, so on and so forth. The next goal is to win a championship. I've never done it. It's the only goal that I have left in this point. So you got to win, got to win races to be a part of that championship and, and put yourself in that contention. And the goals are as simple as that.